Shopify drop shipping. A lot of people can make a lot of money with it and a lot of people can lose a lot of money with it. For me, I'm one of those people who has lost a lot of money doing this. All you gotta do is go back and look at some of my recent videos and you'll see that over the course of the past few months I've lost over $800 starting up various stores. And as fun as it is making the YouTube videos, actually losing the money is not so fun. And I don't want to just keep throwing money away. I don't have that kind of money. If it's not working for me, it's not working for me. I'm having success with crypto, like a lot of success. So that's for my money is gonna be that's where some new videos are gonna be but there are a few things I want to talk about for those who actually want to start up Shopify dropshipping I do have some tips from my experience over the past several months now and basically the reasons why I'm quitting Shopify dropshipping however I will say I may come back maybe once or twice in a couple months in my mind I think Shopify dropshipping definitely still works it's a lot of patience and a lot of devotion now I'm not saying I didn't work hard at what I did I definitely learned a lot before I even hopped into it and then I hopped into it and I learned a lot as I went along and honestly with the videos I was trying to see if there was an ad platform that did really well for me now some of my product picks were not the best so I really recommend taking the time to find a really good winning product maybe running a niche store to start off three five products and sticking with that store and that niche that's kind of something I'm wishing I did it's something I'd recommend for you to do if you're gonna be starting up your own Shopify dropshipping business now one of the downsides of Shopify dropshipping is unless you're planning on making free TikTok videos which seem to be working for a lot of people when I tried it it didn't I didn't really make good TikToks for it as didn't have a great product for it but it can still work I don't think you're gonna see insane volume unless you get some of those videos that do go viral I mean there are a lot of people who know what they're doing TikTok and if you're one of those by all means go for it but a big budget is kind of required going in with like $100 $150 it's possible it's kind of likely you're gonna come out unprofitable unless you're making the ad creative that's gonna cost you anywhere between like 50 to 100 bucks at the actual ad cost and you get the cost of building a store which you can do for basically $14 which is just the domain cost you can get they beautify free for 14 days which is probably the best Shopify theme link down in the description if you want to check that out definitely use a free Shopify theme as well there are plenty of successful brands that still use the free Shopify themes and do numbers with it so honestly to give you a, a rough number I'd say have a thousand dollars set aside both that all to one store I don't really believe in general stores I, I see why people do it but I just think it's way too cluttery and, and does not look professional here's another thought that I learned myself hopping on current products doesn't always work and also what I learned from experience is watching youtubers top 10 products to sell this month is not a good idea it's just not <laughs> what you need to do is actually learn maybe from them for the research methods which usually aren't half bad then actually do the due diligence yourself as far as maybe buying a tool to f help you find winning dropshipping products i think you can definitely do it for free probably using a paid program would help you do it a little bit easier but i think it's important to do it for free because then it really takes a little more effort and really understanding the process of what makes a good product obviously doing everything yourself is more work but i think in the beginning it's important to do that because then you understand stuff once you start to maybe automate it or hire out or pay a program to do it for you and you kind of understand the logic and the thought process behind that a lot of people say it's important to learn how to do ad creatives and I agree I'm a great video editor I've been doing it for a very long time but it takes a lot more than editing skills to make a good ad creative after trying out a bunch of different companies that make those ad creatives I think bands off ads is by far the best I don't even have an affiliate link for them they denied me but Man, what? They are a little more on the expensive side, but I think they were the best out of all the ones I tried. I definitely highly recommend if you're new to the channel, make sure you check out all the dropshipping videos I did. You can learn something from them, and I, I have tried to make them entertaining. So watching me lose money is honestly kind of funny, but and that's besides the point. I will say as far as getting a supplier and getting good shipping times, the best way to really start out is to use CJ Dropshipping. I used them for the entire time, had no problems, I absolutely loved using them. They have a couple warehouses in the US for a lot of the trending products, so you can get like three to seven day shipping with USPS, which is really, really nice. And I mean, even the China shipping, it's it's seven to 15 days. It usually turns out to be like 15, but 15 days is much, much better than 30 plus days on AliExpress. I know with like Alibaba and some AliExpress ones, you can get US shipping. Even if you reach out to the supplier, you can, you know, work out some deal. But really when you're just starting out and you're just trying to get a good product, using CA drop shipping because they have basically everything that AliExpress does and if they don't you can source it and CJA will get it for you. Their customer support is really good. Not always the best English speakers but they do a great job. I've, I've absolutely loved using them. If you guys want to check them out I do have a link down below in the description. When you're starting out definitely definitely use that as your supplier. You'll get that nice 7 to 15 day shipping. And of course as you start to do volume you'll definitely want to get that product in the US. Get that faster shipping. Maybe if you're selling products in other countries then you know you gotta work on something that I don't know a whole lot about that. I haven't done a whole lot of volume so I wouldn't know much about that. <laughs> 
that. And here's the side note, I think really trying to build out a brand, so building social proof, having an Instagram, having a TikTok, Twitter doesn't really mean anything in e-commerce, and maybe even a Pinterest account, and just posting on those all the time, and trying to build a little bit of community, uh, you're not gonna get good engagement. Uh, it's just not gonna happen. But building up a little bit of social proof, maybe even buying some followers, Naughty, naughty. Then hear from me, make your brand look more authentic. Now you could even buy likes to make it look even more authentic. I see some people would be able to tell, and you know, if you could buy comments too, you could keep going, but then that does increase your ad spend. But I mean, it gives you some social proof. And you know, when people start looking around, they're like, hey, they, you know, this guy's got a good business going. It seems like this is a more established brand. And you always want to try to establish yourself as not a dropshipping brand because people always have this negative connotation about dropshipping. When really, most of it is not bad. It's just a couple of people that screw it up with having terrible customer support. But most of the time, it's it's usually fine. So establishing a brand presence is definitely something I think that's underrated. You know, if we're following the same theme of maybe building a niche store and working on it for at least like a month, maybe two months, and if it doesn't work there, then you switch to a different niche but make sure that when you are actually launching you know whether it's Facebook ads whether it's TikTok ads whatever you're doing make sure you have a very good store a perfect description possibly trying to include some gifts if you can get some highlighting some of the key features in bold and just don't copy the Aliexpress description or the Amazon description which is something I've done I think you can definitely take some of it but you need to really add a lot of words to build around maybe what you copy from some other description just to kind of fluff it up a little bit and really explain to the customer why they need that product or why they should want that product to really encourage them to buy it because all you're doing here is a spontaneous buy so you really got to convince them it's, it's really it's completely sales so the ad creative that's that's the first part then you know they're gonna go on your website does it have a good website okay great does it have good product description okay great and then the product reviews does it have good product reviews a lot of people will just import a ton of reviews don't even pay attention to what they say no you want to pay attention to that you want to make sure you have good long in-depth reviews and you also want to have photos on pretty much all of them some people say in every single re review but I think that's kind of sus so most of them most of the reviews have photos and then also of course have those really long in-depth reviews now my tip for that which you didn't hear from me is you go on Amazon, you look for that product, so then you go in the review section, and of course, if it's a good product, you know, there's gonna be a lot of five star reviews, and you actually go ahead and copy some of those reviews, and then you put them in there, make sure that everything makes sense. And you do it for about the first, like, I don't know, 15, 20 reviews, so people look, because they're not gonna dig through, you know, 50 of them. They're usually just gonna look at maybe the first five. Some people look at, a, you know, a few more, so as long as you got like the first 15 covered, you're gonna look legit. Having FAQs also can answer some questions and, you know, also helps people to encourage to buy and not, you know, send an email or just kind of leave it because they don't really understand your product. And really, products can vary from anything. I mean, I, what I find out is you can sell anything in dropshipping. You really can. But there's a lot of things you, you just can't sell. It just really depends. I mean, I think all my websites are really good. Sometimes the description was not the best and the reviews weren't always the best either. I think my products were probably always the most suspicious thing that was going on with what I had. Ad creatives were always I, what I thought was decent when i did facebook ads at one time i had like a six percent click through rate which when i googled it the average is like three to five percent so but yeah like i said doing that due diligence finding a really good useful product that is trending can really help get you started in the shopify dropshipping space so for me why i personally quit dropshipping is because i'm just losing a ton of money with it um, like I said, I think you can definitely make money with it, but even doing a lot of all these things, it still takes, honestly, in my mind, just a little bit of luck. Some people might disagree, some people might agree. Either way, I'm gonna be honest with you. For me, I don't think it's the business model. I really wanted it to be. I've done a couple brands off camera as well, so I technically lost like more like a thousand dollars doing this. And I thought I could do it. I really did. I couldn't. I just couldn't. Maybe I actually need to take my own advice and stick with something for, you know, maybe 60 days, stick with the same store and work on it. But right now I'm at a point where I can't keep losing money. I need to be making some money. Gotta be able to keep the lights on. <laughs> Continue to grow this channel. And I can't just keep repeating the same videos where I keep losing money. It's kind of getting boring. I want to expand in different things and I need money for videos to have planned in the future. And so right now I'm going to kind of really focus on crypto. And there's actually some stuff I got planned for crypto that, you know, hopefully will work out. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and check out those other dropshipping videos that are pretty good to watch. Some of the quality is not as great as this, just keep in mind, especially the beginning ones before I had a nice camera, which I am borrowing because I don't have money to buy my own camera because I've been spending it on dropshipping. But that, that's, once again, it's besides the point. So guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you maybe gave you a little bit of a new perspective, let me know down below in the comment section what you think of Shopify dropshipping and whether I'm making the right decision here. Like I said earlier, I may I may come back. Definitely need to be a little more financially stable before I hop back into it. With that said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.